Sports. Lindsay, overnight the House passed a sweeping coronavirus relief package ensuring Americans protections that come down with the virus. It includes paid sick leave and added tax credits for small and medium-sized businesses. Well, this is cases of COVID-19 reach more than 2,000 in the U.S. Marcy Gonzalez has the latest from L.A. President Trump declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. Unveiling his plan to combat the coronavirus outbreak. It includes sending states $50 billion in aid and working with the private sector to set up drive through testing facilities like this one just outside of New York City. This will start very quickly and we will have, we'll have the ability to do uh, in the millions uh, over a very, very quick period of time. There are now 2,600 cases in the U.S., but with many doctors saying they don't have access to enough tests, officials explain it's unclear just how many Americans are actually sick and how long this pandemic will last. It's unpredictable, but if you look at historically how these things work, It'll likely be anywhere from a few weeks to up to eight weeks. Precautions against the virus shuttering schools with 26 million students now set to stay home. NASCAR and golf's masters joining nearly every major league sport in postponing or canceling their seasons or championships. Production halted on countless TV shows and movies and local economies taking an ongoing hit. In Washington state, hotel spending down more than 50%. Restaurants down 30. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization declaring Europe is now the epicenter of this outbreak. Restrictions on travel to the U.S. from most European countries took effect last night. Americans and green card holders are still allowed to return home, with President Trump saying they will all be screened for the virus. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles.